All right, so let's start the next page. Here we go. Okay, so really the only difference I'm going to add to this is uh, we're going to be multiplying. And so we're going to have two expressions just um, like we had before. Uh, or it's going to be done just like before, just that now we have two expressions. Okay, there we go. It's writing. All right, so remember this stuff, you can, anything that's on the top row, you can move around. Anything on the bottom row, you can move around. So if we want to, we'll bring this together as a single fraction. So I'm going to put 5 times 6, and then I'm going to go ahead, and it's fine. I can consolidate my variables. That's not a big deal. So P to the 4th, and then I do have a Q to the 4th. So I went ahead and consolidated. I left the 5 and the 4 separate. I'm sorry, the 5 and the 6. Um, I, I could have gotten 30 if I wanted to, but you'll see why I left that in just a second. So now I'm going to put the 12 and the 20 right here. And then let's see, I have a P here. I don't have any other so just have a p um and then let's see three q's and then two so this can give me q to the power of five okay so what i want to do here is see if i can reduce with any of this stuff here um and remember you don't have to go right above you can go diagonal it's fine so you'll notice we got a five and a 20 so i'll go ahead and reduce those both by a factor of five okay then let's see what do we have next the six and the 12 the six would reduce to a one and the 12 to a two okay so what that leaves us with is one times one is one so i'm left with a one on top and then um i'll, I'll take care of the variables in the next step so we don't chew off too much um there we go and then so on bottom i'm going to be left with two times four which is eight okay and then i've got the p and i've got the q to the fifth power and so, like I said, you're probably getting better at simplifying your uh, variables, okay? We had a lot of that in the last unit. So this P right here is going to cancel out with one of these, so that'll leave us with three of them, right? And then all four of these are going to cancel out with four of those. So that, just, that whole thing just cancels out. That'll leave us with just a 1Q left, okay? So let me clean this up. So the final thing we're going to have here is a P to the third. The one in front is understood, so you don't really need to keep the one there so I'll drop that and then on bottom I have an eight okay and then this P canceled out so that's gone I don't need to worry about that and then the Q to the fifth power got reduced down to Q to the one power um, don't need to put the one so that's fine we'll just leave it just like that okay so um, moving forward it's just gonna be more of the same except that we'll probably be able to bring in some factoring to help um, cancel out common factors so First of all, the straight pluses, I'm just going to put them in, remember, let's contain them, okay? Now, it doesn't help me, I'm not able to cancel anything out, but now I'm going to go see if I can factor anything out. So on top, let's see, I got that x to the fourth, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a 5 out, and so that should leave us with an x plus 2 right there. Remember, that's all just getting multiplied. On bottom, let's see. So I've got a 5x to the 7th, so I'm going to put 5 times x to the 7th, and then times, let's see, I can factor out a 3 from there, so I'll go ahead and do that. And so 3 times x plus 2, okay? All right, so now it's time to start canceling things out. So I noticed um, I got 5s that basically, they, they cancel out to 1s, you, you know, they're basically, they're gone. We don't need to worry about them, okay? Um, you got an x to the 4th over uh, x to the 7th. So these four will cancel out with four of those and leave you with just three of them. So you've got x to the 3rd right there. Um, and you can actually cancel out the x, uh, the x plus 2s now because, yes, the, the addition is contained within parentheses and they're identical, so I can go ahead and cancel them out. I'm going to switch colors just so we can see how this all coordinates. And so what happens is all this stuff on top basically reduce down to ones, even this one right here. This, this basically turns into just a one, not x to the one power, but just a, the number one. So what you're left with on top, you don't want to, you want to be careful here, one times one times one. So you do actually still have a fraction. A lot of times students just write the denominator as their answer. So you got to be careful. Now on bottom, let's see, what do we have left? So the five turned to a one, one times, here we got an x to the third power. And then you have a times three. It's probably going to look nicer if I put the three first and then put the x to the third power. It just looks a little bit nicer. Those were the only things that um, didn't completely cancel out on bottom. Everything else reduced down to a one. And that's our answer. There you go. 
Okay, moving right along. Um, so this one, let's see, we got a lot of, let's see, we got x squared minus 16, we got x squared minus 4, uh, we got x squared minus x minus 12. So we've got three things that are going to be factorable. And then you got that x squared right there that we'll bring along for the ride. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So I have the difference of two squares again right here. So this should give me x plus 4, x minus 4. Okay, done with that part. And once again, we can write this as a single fraction. So when you're multiplying across, it's fine. Just bring it all together as one. Um, here we can factor, it looks like an x only. So let's see, we'll go ahead and pull out an x, and that'll leave us with an x minus 4. So x minus 4. All right, on bottom, got that x squared, don't want to forget about that, so I got the x squared times, and then we can break this into two factors, there's an understood one right there. So what multiplies to give us negative 12, add up to negative 1. So that should factor into x minus 4, x plus 3. Okay, the factoring's done, so now it's time to start canceling stuff out, so I'll move up a little bit, here we go. Uh, so let's see, um, x minus 4, so it doesn't matter, pick your poison, it doesn't really matter, um, so we'll cancel those out right there, they basically turn into 1's, that's fine, um, and then you'll notice you actually have an x squared and an x, so this x right here can cancel out with uh, one of those x's to leave you with just 1, and I don't see anything else that can cancel, so now you just want to be careful uh, when we write our final answer here. So let's see what's still standing. Okay, so let's see, we have an x uh, plus 4. So let's see, x plus 4. Uh, that turned into a 1. This basically turned into a 1 also, by the way. Uh, then you have an x minus 4. Okay. And then on bottom, let's see, you've got an x to the 1 power, so we'll just put x there. Um, and that reduced out, and then let's see, then here we're going to have an x plus 3. And you don't want to multiply this stuff back together, okay? You want to leave it, you want to leave it factored, um, so that when you look at it, we know that it's simplified completely. There's not really anything, or there isn't anything else that can uh, get canceled out, so we're just going to leave it just like that. Okay. All right, so the next one... Looks pretty similar to that one, so let's see, once again, let's contain all those pluses and minuses. Um, doesn't look like you can factor all of it, it looks like you can factor the first fraction, so we'll factor that and we'll write it out nice, all as one fraction, okay? So the first one, difference of two squares again, so y plus 4, y minus 4. Uh, y plus 3 can't do anything about that, so we'll just leave it as a y plus uh, on bottom, let's see, we can pull out a 2 to get started, so that'll leave us with a y plus 3, and then we have a y minus 4 right there. Okay, so let's start canceling stuff out. So let's see, uh, y plus 4, nope, can't do anything with that, y minus 4, oh, I got a connection right there, I can cancel those out, and then, oh, I got a y plus 3 can cancel those out. So what we're left with on top is that y plus 4 all over uh, 2. And if you want to, you can put it in parentheses because you don't want to reduce it with the 4. The only way you could do that is if you break it apart and you make two fractions because the y is in on it too. The y gets divided by 2 also. So either way, I, I would just leave it like this. Just leave it as a single fraction. All right, so I just have a couple more. <clears throat> so if we look at 43 right here, okay, quite a bit going on here. Um, a lot of factoring to take place, and then probably a lot of canceling followed by that. So on the first one, let's see, we'll pull out a 2. That's going to leave us with an x plus 3. Then here we're trying to figure out what multiplies to give us negative 15 and add up to 2. So that should be an x plus 5 and an x minus 3. That looks good to me. Okay. Then 
on bottom, we'll pull out a 3, and then that'll leave us with an x plus 3. Okay, and then here we want to figure out what multiplies give us 5, but add up to 6. Should be 5 and 1, so x plus 5 and x uh, plus 1. Okay, and so we're going to have some stuff canceled, not everything, but quite a bit of this. So x plus 3, x plus 3 cancel each other, x plus 5, x plus 5 cancel each other out. So on top, you're going to be left with the 2 times x minus 3. And on bottom, we're going to be left with the 3 times x plus 1. All right. So moving on. All right, last one on this page. Um, really just more the same. You'll notice we are going to have one little thing that's going to kind of throw a wrench in the process. And it's not a big deal, but it's something you got to watch for. So you'll notice you have a negative x squared minus x plus 12. So what we're going to want to do here, um, well, we'll do it as we work the problem. But what I'm going to have to do first is factor out a negative 1 from this part of it. And we'll deal with it as I go through the process. Um, so let's see. The first part, difference of two squares, again, that just keeps coming up. So x plus 3 x minus 3, and then here we want to factor out a 3, so 3, and then we're going to be left with x plus 5. So that's the top. The top wasn't too bad. This first part's not bad. You pull out a 4, and you're going to be left with x plus 5 times. Now this is what I was talking about. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the negative 1, and so that's going to leave us with a positive x squared, a plus x and then a minus 12. And so um, I'm going to need to factor this further right here. I'm going to need to factor this further. Um, but before I do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of rewrite this and clean it up. I can go ahead and um, I know there's a negative right there. It's not a minus, though, so it's OK. It's not a stray, OK? Um, what I can do here. Um, I can go ahead and start canceling out some stuff if I'd like, just to kind of get it out of the way, and then I can deal with factoring this. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cancel these out. So those basically just turn into ones, okay? So what I'm left with on top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the, I'm going to put the 3 in front. It just looks nicer. So then I've got x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and multiply this 4 and negative 1 together. So that gives me a negative 4. Okay. But now I need to factor this. Okay, so I want to factor this. Okay, and put it right here. Um, so the factoring is easy. What multiplies give me negative 12, but add up to 1. So it should be an x plus 4 and an x minus 3. So that's the factors for that. Okay, so really just to kind of retrace our steps, what happened? is I had to factor out a negative 1, and all I did was basically multiply that negative 1 by the constant over here. So 4 times negative 1, so I just kind of, that negative got put with a 4 right there. Um, and so now I can cancel out the x minus 3s, okay? And so really all we're going to be left with is 3 times x plus 3 all over negative 4 times x plus 4. And don't start trying to cancel out the x's or the 3 or just, yeah. So if it's in parentheses, it's either all or nothing. So anyways, um, that's our answer. Okay, so once again, I'll press stop and I'll start a new video for the next slide.